the new world order. Deborah Haynes, thank you very much indeed. This is an historic moment. We have in this past year made great progress in ending the long era of conflict and cold war. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. People back in place, especially with reopening and people going back to pubs and stuff, because our exposure sites still, will they be put back in place to be listed once we are reopening, because they're not at the moment? Um, we will be looking at what contact tracing looks like in the new world order. And yes, it will be pubs and clubs. According to Wikipedia, the New World Order is a conspiracy theory which hypothesizes a secretly emerging totalitarian world government. The common theme in conspiracy theories about a New World Order is that a secretive power elite with a globalist agenda is conspiring to eventually rule the world through an authoritarian one world government, which will replace sovereign nation states, and an all-encompassing propaganda whose ideology hails the establishment of the new world order as the culmination of history looks like in the new world order looks like in the new world order looks like in the new world order they're talking about that but they're also talking about closer cooperation in areas like cyber and data security and and quantum computing. It all sounds like science fiction, but a race is going on right now between Western democracies and authoritarian rivals over who will be the dominant power to master these technologies. Technologies that will not just shape our world, but will shape the balance of power when it comes to fighting and winning wars. The New World Order. Deborah Haynes, thank you very much that will shape the balance of power when it comes to fighting and winning wars. The New World Order. Deborah Haynes, thank you very much indeed. Looks like in the New World Order. Looks like in the New World balance Order. Of power when it comes to fighting and winning wars. The New World Order. Deborah Haynes, thank you very much indeed. Well, let's return. It's a very pertinent question to ask how do we build back better? to build back better or whatever. We have a chance to reset the clock and build back better than before. To build back better than before. Remember the, the terrible damage of COVID as we try to build back from this uh, global pandemic. Joe Biden calls it build back better. Build back better. Building back better. To do things differently. To build back better. We're gonna build it back better and build it back better. Is my plan to build back better. Uh, start taking all the problems that have been created in right. education and mental health and start to, to build back in a positive way. I have launched a booklet called Build Back Better, written after coronavirus. It's about building this country back better growing conspiracy following it. It is called the Great Reset. An unprecedented opportunity to rethink and reset the ways in which we live. The great opportunity for reset. The theory even calls Mr. Biden's campaign slogan, Build Back Better, a front for the conspiracy. Build back better. Building back better our economy. Build back better. All elements of the Great Reset are fundamental to building the future we need. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. It's a big effort to, some would say, to build back, back better. We would say to really have a great reset. 
Conspiracy. Conspiracy. Conspiracy.